All right, guys, let's talk about using our EQ. All right, so I just wanted to show you a really quick trick to use on your EQ, um, so equalizer, right, if you're not familiar. But basically, it's really helpful, especially if you're first starting to learn to hear things while using the EQ. It can be helpful for people that are more advanced as well, um, just to help you kind of isolate what you're actually hearing. So I'll show you the trick really quickly here. So basically, I'm gonna add an EQ to this track. Let's see, I'm gonna do the EQ7 band and that's cause that's the one that comes stock with Pro Tools. So if you have Pro Tools, you will have access to this EQ. And some EQs this trick does not work with as well. So just keep in mind that um, depending on what EQs you have, this trick might be specific only to this, this one EQ. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna solo just this track so we can hear it properly. And I'm actually going to put my headphones on so I can hear it too. Um, so basically the trick is if you're working on something, you're EQing it, you know, you're adding boosts and cuts. This is kind of a wild looking EQ. This is not what my EQ would normally look like, but I just wanted to kind of show you something that's not a flat EQ. But basically the trick is while you're listening back, you can actually isolate each of these frequency bands. So you hear just what that band is uh, encompassing. So let me... I'm gonna hit play and then I'm gonna do it to show you what that means. So we're just hearing this one, uh, one track here. So hopefully you can hear how that affects things, how that changed the sound. Uh, basically all I did was I went to the band and I held control and shift and then I click on the band and as soon as you start to move it, I'm clicking right now but I haven't moved it. As soon as you start to move it, it will then isolate that band and that's what you will hear. And you can do it on, I think on any of these bands here. It can sometimes be a little wonky if you have automation on your uh, your EQ, but um, other than that, it's pretty reliable. And I believe on a Windows, this is going to be the Windows key and shift. So instead of control shift, like on a Mac, it's gonna be the Windows key and shift. And one thing to keep in mind is you can do it by clicking on the graph here, but you can also hold control shift and then go to something like the Q value and click and change that. And it will change the Q value while you're listening back to that band in isolation, if that makes sense. So um, you can use it a couple of different ways. I'll show you with the frequency knob. So you don't have to click on it on the graph to use this, uh, this trick. And you know, it does kind of work with the gain knob. I'll show you here. So if you hold control and shift and then you click on the gain knob for the band that you want to hear, it'll isolate it and you'll hear it. But you notice as I raise or lower it, it's not actually raising or lowering the level of that band. So it's kind of just for hearing it in isolation without changing it really is how I would view it. Um, I'm not sure if there's any other detail of it here that's that's good to point out. Maybe you can comment in the comments below if you have anything to add to the idea of using it with the gain knob here. Um, I don't find this one super useful, but um, it's there if you wanna just hear it by itself. I don't know. And I'll play it back really quick while I mess with it with the gain knob just so you can kind of hear that it doesn't change the actual level of that band as you move the gain knob when you're using this trick, right? So let's see, um, I'll hit play. So no change, right? But yeah, that's the basic idea that I wanted to show you guys today is the concept that you can isolate individual bands using that stock EQ plugin in Pro Tools. So I hope someone out there finds this useful. I hope you like this video. Please let me know in the comments below as usual. And you know, all the stuff that people on YouTube love would be really appreciated. So like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, I do have a Patreon. So that's patreon.com slash Kato Noise. And my patrons do get access to additional content. And this month I did start a Discord server for my Patreon patrons. So that's there as well. So um, if you feel like checking that out, I would really appreciate it. Other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday, and thank you for watching. Okay. So, um, tomorrow's Christmas Eve, so this video is not going to be out until after Christmas, but I just wanted to say happy holidays to you guys. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe, um, staying healthy, all that stuff. Uh, I don't know. That's my thought. Uh. Hmm, interesting.
Interesting. Cool. I got to go snowboarding recently. It wasn't too bad. There, I went in my camper van so I could take bathroom breaks and get food and stuff in the van so I didn't have to go inside anywhere. I just walked straight to the lift. There was distancing at the lifts for the most part. At one point when I was giving someone six feet of distance in front of me, someone just cut me in line, which was, I don't know, rude. I guess they thought that the six foot rule wasn't in effect or something. But um, other than that, it was a really good experience. It felt pretty safe. Um, everyone's bundled up anyway, and it was required to wear masks. And um, it was a good way to like get away and blow off some steam because <laughs> it's been a while since, um, since I've gotten away. I think my last trip was Columbia, and that was last November. So um, it was really nice to get away, see some snow, go snowboarding. It was good. I might post some videos on social media of my trip. I I got a couple of videos, but Instagram has been really obnoxious about posting videos for me for some reason this week. So I have to figure that out. It keeps posting and it'll post the sound, but then have no video and it's just a black screen. And I'm like, it's not really what I'm hoping for here. So I have to figure it out. I tried like checking for updates on Instagram, updates on my phone, resetting my, or not resetting, restarting my phone. I tried um, downloading my video onto my computer and then uh, what did I do? I converted it in Premiere and then tried uploading it. I've just been trying like one thing each day <laughs> trying to get this thing posted. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth the effort, but I'll, I'll probably try again when I'm like watching TV later or something. So that's fun. Um, okay, cool. See you guys. Happy holidays.